From the News Channel 5 Network, this is Morning Line with Nick Barris. Uh, good morning, everyone. Thanks for joining us on Morning Line. Nick Barris here on a Thursday and uh, a good show on tap for you. Um, this is something that um, if you live in downtown Nashville, uh, you certainly are aware of. If you're someone who visits the city downtown, but maybe lives on the outskirts, but you come into town, you've got to be aware of it as well. Um, if you never come downtown, maybe you don't know about that. But the issue is uh, the whole phenomenon of transportainment. Um, and we're talking about some of these very unique vehicles that are transporting mostly tourists uh, through the downtown area, likely especially in the evenings and on the Fridays and Saturdays and this town, but really pretty much 24 seven. It seems like if you ask me, we're talking about, you know, those horse drawn carriages, uh, pedicabs, pedal taverns, of course, and hybrids of such to the point where there's so much down there that I think the city and concerned citizens uh, are ready to take a stand and start limiting some of the licenses. In fact, later today, the, uh, the downtown transportation licensing commission for Metro is going to be considering a request for 32 new pedal vehicle licenses. And, uh, you know, for the first time in a bit, because it is business and money that comes down in its industry, you know, the Nashville Area Chamber of Commerce, uh, the Convention Visitors Bureau, Butch Spirit in there, and others are kind of uh, suggesting that they, they deny permit requests for additional such vehicles because it's just becoming too too much and we're going to talk with someone who I think uh, is strongly agrees with this and has seen this uh, evolve over time to the point where it's kind of ridiculous um, uh, with us this morning is uh, Jim Schmitz he is a uh, downtown resident um, I think since you live downtown you work downtown you're a banker aren't you Jim uh, I retired from okay, I'm a reform retired. banker. Okay, you're a reform banker, and I just didn't know, uh, you know, you live downtown, you spend time, you've, you've seen this evolve. G give me, and I don't know, how, let me ask first, how long have you lived downtown, Jim? I uh, lived downtown since 2015. Okay, so since 2015, we're talking about six years, going on seven years. Um, what have you seen evolve with regard to pedal taverns in just the time that you lived downtown? At first, did you see them and think, oh, well, that's kind of a... A kind of a neat little thing. How fun is that? And then it just blossomed from there. Uh, talk about the evolution of it in your mind, what you've seen. Okay, well, thanks. Thanks for, thanks for having me on today. I Pleasure. appreciate it. Pleasure. Um, well, well, first off, uh, I think when we first moved to downtown, there were a few of the pedal taverns. Yeah. They were around and, and doing it, and they were, you know, they were fun, but there were already beginning to be complaints about them uh, uh, causing traffic issues for people getting in and out of downtown who are working here, uh, especially during the rush hours in the evenings on the Thursdays and Fridays, primarily. Um, since then, it's expanded beyond the pedal taverns, and now there are buses that have taken off the roofs. They, you know, they've carved the, bus, the tops of the school buses off, created a big space, um, uh, they play very loud music. There's, you know, it's a roving party. It's rolling around party on wheels. Um, not necessarily anything uh, bad with that, but in the doing so, there's been, have been no safety regulations put on the books, nothing there to try to keep people safe on these vehicles, but they have proliferated substantially. They're, they're everywhere. And they start, they've earlier and earlier in the weeks, whereas this used to be primarily yeah. a Friday afternoon <laughs> when the bachelorette parties were coming into town, it now seems to be uh, all, all the time. Uh, it starts earlier and earlier in the day and it goes later and later into the night. And I think for a lot of people who live downtown and who've been here for a while, move downtown with the idea that I want to be close to where the action is. I want to be able to go and enjoy the entertainment that takes place in downtown Nashville. But I don't want to live right on top of it. So you pick a place that's a little bit further away from there. Well, what's happened is Broadway has gone on wheels and now yep. there is extremely loud music cruising up and down the streets around where people live. And it is a neighborhood. Downtown is a neighborhood and becoming more and more of a neighborhood as more apartments and condominiums and things like that are constructed down here. So, you know, my position kind of is I don't want to stop. I don't want to stop the fun uh, at all. I just want us to have some balance and recognize that there are different property uses downtown and there needs to be 
balance. And I think the first place we start here is there with no safety and no regulations put on these whatsoever. Um, I, I think that's where we need to start. That's where we need to start the conversation. Yeah. And, and when you talk about regulations then, and I, that, that seems, what you just said there, seems completely reasonable to me. And, and when you talk about regulations, then would you imagine as we move forward, and we're going to talk about what's going to happen later today and what the state law allows and doesn't allow, but um, that would include then maybe zones where they are limited to being able to travel? Would that also include maybe putting a cap on the number of these types of vehicles that can be on the road so that kind of, you know, you're going to have to wait until someone drops out before someone new can start a new one where there's a limit on how many because that's kind of what's going on today i mean if if the commission today approves this you're talking 32 new pedal taverns hitting the road which with what we already have there i can't even imagine so would those be the types of regs you're looking at or thinking about did that just freeze up oh it looks like it just froze up sometimes that happens with our zooms stay where you are jim if you can still hear me i'm sure you heard the question we'll take a break and when we come back we'll pop jim back up and ask him about those regs and i want you at home if you're watching this uh to give us a call 737-7587 uh, just real clear as we go back to this and i kind of agree with jim I, we're not wanting to ban fun okay and there may be some of these owners of these pedal cabs and pedal taverns that are like well i'm just trying to make a living and it's a safe fun way to do it and I agree and I think that it brings something to the city to a degree the problem is when it gets to be oh so much and it gets in the way of other things that happen downtown that there needs to be a limit and and so let's talk about that we'll take your calls what you think and if you're a big advocate for these pedal taverns or have been on one I'd like to hear from you on this uh, we'll take a break be back with more right after this we wake up each and every day